How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to show you how you can use WhatsApp on your iPad the right way. So as we all know, Meta doesn't offer an official WhatsApp app for the iPad, but it doesn't mean we can't have an awesome WhatsApp experience on our favorite tablet. As you can see right here, we have a full screen, fully responsive app-like experience. And the best part? It's completely free. And I'm not even using a third-party WhatsApp application. You'll see it in a second. And to make things even better, you can even use two WhatsApp accounts at the same time on your iPad. So if you want to, you can use, for example, a personal and a business account, two different numbers, at the same time with this process and you even get notifications and badges it works perfectly so without further ado let's get started okay guys so open up safari tap on the search bar and go to whatsapp web i know that many of you guys already knew this process already knew how to use it with whatsapp web but please stay here, don't leave the video because I'm gonna teach you how to really use WhatsApp Web on your iPad, okay? So, hang in there. Right, so let's go to web.whatsapp.com. As you can see, I'm gonna have it on the screen and link in the description as well. So, web.whatsapp.com. So, the great thing about this method is even though this is not the official app, but it is the official method because we're actually opening up WhatsApp on the web. So this is from WhatsApp. We're not using a third party application. We're not using a WhatsApp client from somebody else. No, no, no. We're using WhatsApp from WhatsApp. So it's completely 100% safe and that's the correct way to do it. All right. So what you're going to do here, of course, is read, scan this QR code from your iPhone. So then go ahead, grab your iPhone and then open up whatsapp as i told you we can use dual accounts with this process i'm gonna show you in a second so hang in there once again okay so go to settings and then we're gonna go to linked devices and then link device right here as you can see it's gonna ask for your face and then you're gonna read the qr code it's pretty much instant as you can see and then let it do its thing sometimes it takes a while especially if your whatsapp is super heavy and so on okay uh, another thing that's super important is to say here syncing keep app open so keep whatsapp on your iphone or your android phone open okay until it's finished okay this is important otherwise you will have problems and as you can see right here we still have whatsapp web right here but we have this browser experience so we have here on top the search bar and all we don't have that full screen experience that i showed you in the intro and that's because we have to have another step okay so what you're gonna do is actually tap here at the top right hand corner okay at the share button and then scroll down scroll all the way down until you see add to home screen if you don't see this option you can tap on edit actions and then it'll be right here you add it okay so look for add to home screen tap on it and then you can name it whatever you want since i'm gonna use two accounts i'm gonna name this personal because this is my personal whatsapp right so personal there we go personal and then add and there we go we have successfully added my first whatsapp account but we're not done yet because when you open it up there's a high chance this will happen generally this will happen it seems like it doesn't work because it's gonna open again and ask for your qr code again and that's completely normal guys we have to do it twice for some reason so let's go ahead grab our iPhone and scan the QR code once again. So then I have here my iPhone on that very same page that I just showed you, right? Link device once again, face, and then scan. I know it, it, it looks a little bit weird having to do it twice, but it's probably a bug or something. But trust me, when you do it the second time, it does work. As you can see, now we have the full app. As you can see, we don't have a search bar or anything. The iPad actually recognizes WhatsApp Web as an actual app, as you can see. 
and now it's asking for notifications if you want that if you want those badges and everything that i showed you you will have to allow so turn on desktop notifications allow as you can see right here and then now we're good to go as you can see the app is working it has a little badge and if we tap on it it's gonna open it up it's always gonna work even if you turn off the ipad and turn it back on like two days later it's gonna work the exact same way. Sometimes as you tap on it, it's just gonna load, load messages, but you don't need to rescan QR code or nothing like that. It's gonna be locked to this device, working perfectly as if it's a WhatsApp official app. And then of course, you can do anything as you're used to. Tap here, send messages. Of course, this screen is a little bit small because it's an iPad mini, but you can do absolutely anything as you can see right here. You can add media, emoji, uh, your stickers, absolutely everything. And of course, you can even send audio messages. You just need to allow your microphone and you can send audio messages. So as I said, it's a full WhatsApp experience on your iPad, completely free in the official way right you don't need a third-party app and as i said you can do multiple accounts if you want to do it all you have to do is use a different browser so as you saw i was using safari right if i want to add a second number all i have to do is use for example google chrome so you can go ahead here and go to the app store right and look for google chrome the browser everyone knows right google chrome so we go ahead here and you go to search and then you just search for uh, Google Chrome, right? It's gonna be right here. And then you just search for the browser, download the browser, of course, it's completely free. And then open it up and then you do the exact same thing. You go ahead here on the search bar, you go to web.whatsapp.com, it's the exact same thing. And then it's gonna open up here the QR code. As you can see, we have here WhatsApp web on Google Chrome and then we do the exact same process. So then you go ahead here and this time, of course, you're gonna use your secondary WhatsApp account, your WhatsApp business, right? And then you do the exact same thing, settings, link devices, and then you do the process. If, by the way, you didn't know you could have dual WhatsApp, dual accounts, dual numbers on your iPhone at the same time, I do have a dedicated video showing you exactly this. Go ahead, take a look right here, and then link in the description you go ahead, watch that video, install two WhatsApps on your iPhone, and then you do the exact thing for your iPad, because now you know how to do it. Oh, and one final step, since we actually did it twice, right? We added WhatsApp twice, you're gonna have like two devices. It's gonna be named other device, that's perfect, no problem with that, but we're gonna have two and we don't need it, because the first one, we have deleted, we don't need it. So you can go ahead here, tap on the first one, and then log out, right? You can log out, no problem at all. And then as you can see right here, you just have one, which is this one, which is fully functional. As you can see right here, no problem at all, fully functional, you're perfect, all right? So that's it, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video as usual, guys. Bye-bye.